Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, you're at Delp Chanel's 40s World. And I am doing this for one of my fams, my family members who wanted me to cover this particular topic. And I hope to God that it didn't, that it did not spell out or sound like anything about a test tube, baby. Okay. I'm just saying, because we might have to get some sanctions on Miss Marlo Hampton again. That's why she ain't never been married, okay? See, it's, it's very weird. Y'all were just real close. Y'all were like kindred spirits when Kenya came over to see where you were putting your house, how you were doing it. She even told you your contractor uh, that was going to help build that house for you. Uh, he knew his stuff. You know what I'm saying? Can't catch too many good moments where y'all are acting like adults and not children. But a little birdie told me now. A little birdie told me we're going to hear about it. We may not see it because the producers had to have edited out crystal clear. will be no evidence that was showed to prove that you called baby Brooklyn a test tube baby. Girl, things do have a way of leaking out, Marlo. And I already told you we need to have sanctioned your behind before, okay? Now, you know you just got this big-ass reprieve from the gay community because Andy Cohen didn't like what you were saying about the gays. And I really do believe you still have that spirit in you. You just know you can't let it hash out amongst the masses because you'll be censored once again. You won't be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You'll probably be like Nene, scraping to get by. Okay, scraping to get by. But how could you fix your mouth? To say anything in the avenue or on the street of test tube baby. Okay? It don't matter how Brooklyn got here. Whether it was test tube or the stork. The stork flew her in. The, the thing is. She was going to be hard at having and carrying a baby her own. That is a very delicate subject for some. And test tube baby they don't look at it that way. But if that's the way she was conceived, then God bless her. God bless her. But like I said, you're going down that route. You're on a slippery slope. They're going to have your ass flying up in the sky and come down, crash, and burn heavily and disintegrate. Because you can't talk about the gays unless you are gay and you have walked a mile in their shoes. You can't talk about a baby being a test tube baby. When she looks too cute, she looks too pretty, she looks all scrumptious. How can you call that little bundle of joy nothing less than human? Marlo, you ain't shit. Now, I already told you, I done excommunicated you out for the other infractions you did with throwing away your nephews for a month. And if you could have got rid of them for a whole year, you probably would have. But somebody need to be tracking those state records to see if, in fact, you are getting paid for those boys. They need to track one month of pay that you need to owe them back since the kids weren't with you. Okay? Allegedly. I cannot believe you stuck. <laughs> I can't believe you let Kenya drive you down that road to the abyss and there's no returning. There's no returning. If we ever have a hint of an idea that is going to come out and 
you said all those nasty words that from what Candy and Fatum said you said, they edited it out. Then you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And Candy Burris, you should not even be hanging with or dealing with Marlo Hampton. She needs to be silenced. She needs to be excommunicated. She needs to go on her merry way. Go back to being a con artist. Go back to being a thief in the night. But it seems to me you're creating a very big pattern for yourself. Now, you could have went out the Kenya like you were giving out, you know, getting out of the first couple of episodes. That was cute. But when you come in and you talk about somebody as innocent as a child, that should never, ever be on your radar. Talking about the gays should not be on your radar. Because the only thing you know about is how to be a heterosexual woman. Okay? You ain't walked a mile in either one of those category shoes before for you to have anything to say or speak on it about it. Yeah, Candace, so you, you ain't coming on her show. You don't deny, deny, deny. But Marlo, a lot of things are brought out that are done in the dark. And you know that whole thing with the gays and you had you on the sidelines for how many years? Mm-hmm. And it seems like you're in that same boat again, running down that slippery slope where you're going to go up in the air and you're going to fall hard. And you ain't going to even know how you got there. Evidently, you probably took a play out of Nini's playbook. And you see where she's faring? You see how she's faring? Like, yes, she may get some money. But is it enough that's going to last her her lifetime? Is it going to be enough to have her, her sustain, sustain the type of living that she's used to doing? Because nine times out of ten, to keep that man... That she's not talking about anymore in the public. Because a, a Turner's probably told her to shut the hell up. That's why we don't hear about Naomi anymore. You're gonna, Nini's going to lose a lot more than what she's going to gain. Because of her attitude and how she treats people. It's called karma. You can't keep doing people wrong. And think you're going to get something right sent back to you that's not how the universe works baby girl that's not how the universe work work and to me from what i've seen you in your peach solidified stance you don't like kenya because kenya has been married before was it a good marriage hell to the no 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 we even tried to tell her stop fighting for that marriage stop fighting for that man because he ain't doing it he ain't doing it for you he ain't doing it, girl. He's going to drag you down, and you're going to have nothing. And he's going to have everything and then some. But you're going to end up having nothing. So, you had to rag on her about Mark. About Mark. How he treated her. That he wasn't no good, or he was better off without you. That was a jab, okay? You even went so far to say, Oh, your mama didn't even want you. So, who do you think you are? That was another jab. Mm-hmm. And when she got pregnant, you didn't even believe that it was Mark's sperm that impregnated her. You took that dig. So, see, you don't dig at her about the baby, the husband, and then you, the mama. So, if that don't give you enough to dethrone you of your peach. I don't know what the world is coming to. Now, Kenya did definitely, you know, gave you a run for your money. She was insulting you, but I don't remember her ever insulting the boys. She could have took some jabs at you, Marlo, and, and, and uh, said you were unfit. She probably did. But guess what? She didn't speak ill of your boys. She just said they deserve better than how you're treating them. See, that's the difference. That was the olive branch she gave to you. And to straighten up how you say things and how you talk to people when you can't take it back. Once it's out there and it's been heard, people going to hold on to those emotions, especially if they were negative, driven. 
So, if you don't get your peach back next year or next season, I'm glad for that. Because you had no right, no sensibility to bring her daughter into an argument that y'all were having. And how she brought up the boys' names, she was just saying that the boys deserve someone better than you. Because that was piss poor, that was foolishness, fuckery, fraudulent, fakery activity you did on those boys. And you don't think they're going to remember that? Because you don't know what type of living arrangements, sleeping arrangements that you put them in the midst of. Because for what I hear, it was just a two-bedroom apartment. And you wanted your peace. You wanted everything to be back where it once was. You should have never took on the job if you wasn't going to solidify yourself as their caregiver, as their monkey. So you're saying you probably used it as a storyline. That's what I'm trying to say, my love. Just like the people that wanted you in can be the same people and more that gets you out. Just remember that, baby girl. Just remember that. But let's get on into Scream Rant. Okay? That was just how I wanted to feel about it. I wanted to speak my piece. And we had, I think her name is Jocelyn Johnson. Okay? She titled her article. Candy and Fatum say Marlo Diggs and Kenya's daughter were cut from Real Housewives of Atlanta. On that scene or in the, the common scenes we have yet to see. Moving on. It says Marlo Hampton has been making low blows at Kenya Moore. But Kenya, but Candy Burr says she made even lower digs that were cut from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, Marlo has been receiving mixed reviews about her first season as a full-time housewife due to the harmful dish she's known to make in a shady throwing session. Heated exchanges are the norm on most reality shows, but Marlo often faces backlash for disturbing references she chooses to mock her adversaries for. Kenya is a fellow alpha woman who holds her own when engaged in a showdown, and that's true. You're supposed to be with the adults throwing the low blows if you must. But you should never bring another party in. Such as her mother. Such as her soon-to-be ex-husband. Such as her daughter. Those were totally, totally off limits. Now, Mark himself, you could have talked about. But not the marriage that they were in. Because she pretty much put it on TV. And we saw her in a sinking ship when it came to that marriage. But she had to formulate her own ideas from, you know, what she would try to do to keep the marriage. What could she do better when it wasn't nothing at all? It was all Mark. So, moving on, back to the article. It says the show's fans have been cheering Kenya on amid her ongoing flu with Marlo that became... Well, that become a central storyline of season 14. The two have been locked in a war that united when Marlo took issue with Kenya missing one of her events because she was sick. While Kenya was attempted to keep the peace, Marlo continues to call her out for minor offenses like showing up late or choosing to stay in a different location during the girl's trip to Blue Ridge. Kenya has her guard up around Marlo and refuses to entertain her attempts to scold her. Things came to a head in the latest episode when Kenya showed up to partake in the day trip after Marlo told her not to come since she didn't stay at the house. Now, just speaking, you know, in layman's terms and just speaking from being a part of something that you know is going to be a hostile environment versus a pleasantry and you're going to enjoy yourself. Now, can you know, she knew, she knew that Marlo was going to be a tornado and a bitch. She knew it. Do we know Kenya can clear it out faster than we can say jumping jack flash? Yes, she can. She can handle her when she's strictly trying to comfort her and she's not throwing other digs. But personally, I thought Kenya should stay her ass at home. But if it's a situation where you don't show up, you don't get paid, then yes, Kenya must show up and get paid because she got to take her baby girl Brooklyn. All right. So that was the only thing that I, I could think of that would keep 
uh, Kenya back in the fold with them and taping with them. So it had to be a situation like that. You don't come, you don't get paid. So that's why I chose to look at it from that point of view. Okay, but then we um we have Candy and Fatum say Marlo took extremely low blows at Kenya's daughter, Brooklyn Daily, that producers had edited out. Jay Reality Blog captures a clip from Candy Speak on it talk show where she sat down with Fatum and recalled the messy moment. That argument that they had was a crazy it was just crazy, Ken said. It was so disrespectful. Some of the things that they were saying. Fatum called out Marlo for saying mean things about Kenya that Candy said producers didn't show. Okay, Candy went on the note. The things Marlo said about Kenya's daughter that was cut from the episode that was brutal. Fatum said to which Candy agreed. Marlo has already been facing criticism from viewers who don't think she deserves another peach next season due to how verbally vicious she can be on the cast. Viewers have already seen Marlo take digs at Kenya's pregnancy, her scarred relationship with her mother, and her divorce from Mark Daly. If producers had to edit out brutal remarks Marlo allegedly made about Kenya's daughter, she might already placed herself on the chopping block as a full-time housewife. Marlo has appeared on The Real Housewives of Atlanta as a friend since season four. Fans were rooting for her to become full-time due to all the memorable uh, moments she brought to the fran fran tri uh, fran franchise over the years. Marlo has always known to bring the drama. She was introduced as a close friend of Nene Leakes, so it's what many expect from her. But considering how Marlo herself has said she doesn't talk about people's family and children, yet has done both. <laughs> okay? That's a double-minded person. That's a double-minded way of thinking person. And you should leave those people where they're at. You should not even engage with them. Okay? But going back to the article, it says... Um, her contradictions appear to be catching up with her. There would be a lot for Marlo to address at the season 14 reunion. Now, we already know it's going to be on like popcorn. And they really need to let the public know because it's supposed to be a reality show, right? So they should, even if they have to sugarcoat it and, and, and you know, camouflage it a little better. But we need to know exactly in what content shows a glimpse of what we were referring to as uh marlo said something about baby girl brooklyn because we're gonna stand 10 toes down and 10 hands up to fight for baby girl brooklyn because she shouldn't have been bought into this spectacle of a reality show and that was just doggish doggish brutish and, and marlo should not have her peach i'm sorry you, you did too much. Just like um, Fatum had picked up um, Drusador's pocketbook and tried to hide it. That should never, that, some lines you just can't cross and think you can come back over to the winning side. No, you cannot. So we've already seen Marlo being disrespectful to the gay community. She had to be shunned. She had to be tapped down for that. Now she's picking at Kenya. On the way of how Kenya had her baby. Whether it was a test tube baby. Or whether the baby she was toting in her stomach. Or whether someone else was carrying it. That's her business. That's her time. And you had no way. No right to even speak on the matter. So right now I'm looking at you. You hate what Kenya has. Kenya is very successful. She knows a lot of professional people. And she looks very gorgeous. For her age. I think she's what 50, 51. Because to tell you the truth Marlo. You look horrendous. You look basically. Older than any of the. Hell you look older than Sheree. Okay. Ugh. She gets on my nerve. And I was so rooting for Marlo. To have her peach. Thinking she had been redeemed. To even hold any type of reality show for us to watch. But no, you don't got too nasty, too dark. And you need to be dissolved of, pretty much. Dissolved of. And if any 
thing had something to say about the people have the right to pull you out and put you on, then you can best believe a lot of people is going to be voting for you to be off the show. Because you're just doing a hell of a lot for the paycheck that they're giving you. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, I see Marlo as being jealous because she never got married. Kenya's been married before. Was it a good reunion or a union? Hell no. Okay, it was already on fire before she even said, I do. Now, Kenya has had a baby. What has Marlo had? Or can she even have a baby? That's what somebody needs to be researching. Okay? Because she's in her, what, 30s? Time is a ticking, baby. Time is a ticking with them eggs. But you don't even have a man. Not a man that you want to bring on TV. And then you sat there. Came for her mama. You knew that woman was living with her aunt. I mean, her grandmama. Because the mama didn't want it. You knew that. And shout out to Layla Lynn. She does. She's a blogger. Go on over there and see her until I say, hey. I don't know who that person is, y'all. But we recognizing them. Like I said, I get pictures. I don't really be looking at the pictures too thoroughly. I just put them in my, you know, clip when I see them with some I like. Yes, grandmama raised Kenya Moore. Okay? Marla had something to say about that shit. But are you jealous because nobody took you in, Marlo? You had to be in foster care? Is that what you're mad about? Because Kenya had a very fantastic growing up environment where people were loving on her. She didn't have to go to foster care. So are you mad about Kenya had a better life growing up? Even though she had some tumultuous things that would have scarred her with her mother not being present in her life. And didn't want to be. That was hurtful. It, it sure was. But hey. She managed to prevail on. She's gotten married. Okay. You have never gotten married. So the only thing I can see is that you are very jealous. Hearted. And dark thinking. When it comes to Kenya Moore. Because she's pretty much had everything that you wanted. You desired. And that's all I see. Jealous is going to definitely make you lose your job. Because, you know, other words, allegedly, you out there stealing to make ends meet. You show one trying to elevate yourself because they say you're a call girl. Okay, this is just allegedly. So, you've been living in a townhome forever in a day. Now that you sign a contract with um, Bravo, you want to move into a house now. Only thing I'm saying, make sure those duckies are correct. Because every job don't always last for always. So hopefully you are thinking about that. In hindsight, what I would say for you to do is to apologize. That would be better. And keep it above the waist when you want to go for low blows and leave the children and the husbands out of the argument that y'all are trying to play with one another about that would be better suited but like i said if the producers had to scratch out major time filming because you hurled so many bad insults about baby girl brooklyn I'm pretty sure somebody is having a conversation at the big table to see, are you going to be a liability for them? Are you going to be able to make them some money? Because we like drama. Don't get me wrong. I love a good kiki, ha-ha, and a fallout on the floor moment, just like everybody else. But when you take digs at another person intentionally to get them angrier than what they should be getting far as on a reality show and they can't put their hands around your throat or anything of that nature girl you must be gone you must be banished we must censor you or sanction you either or will be fine let's get the people what they want and right now they don't want you on the show marlo your horns go too deep to even think about giving you another chance because you done had many. You have had many. 
You can't talk about a race. You can't talk about a, a group of individuals that do things different from you. That's discrimination. That's racism. You can't comment on somebody's hard struggle to wanting to have a child by any means necessary. And we can't go around trafficking children. We can't go stealing children now. But she did it the best way she knew how to did to do it to make it possible for her to have her. Do you understand, Marlo? Do you understand what we're talking about? But that's all I got for this video. I was doing it for one of my family members. But, you know, I really didn't want to do it per se. Because I didn't really want to get on Marlo. But it needed to have been done. It needed to have been said. Because sometimes adults just don't know when to stop. They just go on over the cliff. And hopefully the fall won't be too devastating for them. Let's see. If they're going to censor her for talking about the gay community, they need to censor her for talking about test two baby and all of that. That's totally disrespectful of anybody because those are the depths that people go to because they want to have that urge. They need to have that urge to have a family, a child. And that's why I said, I think you, ooh, you, are, you past being jealous of Kenya. You are almost obsessive compulsive when it comes to her so i would say can you better be watching your back you might have a stalker on you i don't know just say you don't you, you don't feel like um you're safe <laughs> drew did it and got rid of fatoon okay i'm just saying some people do not need to be on tv some people do not need to be shown on tv not when they acting totally un-american Whew, my little Ella, she was raised by wolves. And that's a hot mess. Well, okay, guys. Don't forget to comment in the comment section, which I know y'all will, especially when we're talking about this video. Y'all going to be deep down in the, them comments. And I'll be down there with you. I sure will. Because y'all may be thinking of stuff that I should have said that I didn't think about. Okay? Yes, honey. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. I'm going to bed, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.